Hello guys and welcome to my channel, your channel where you can learn how to use Fusion 360 to program your home Mac and Wiki CNC machine. Alright, so uh, let's create the, the MPR file, alright. As you can see here, I have a, a 3D model, it's just a fence here. It has uh, six 5mm holes, alright. Okay, I'm already in the manufacturer workspace. Okay, this is where you have where you have to be to program this part. All right. All right. So uh, I'm gonna create a new setup. <clears throat> okay. All right. So you see how uh, the WCS is wrong here. All right. So the Z uh, axis is to be pointing up. Okay. I'm gonna fix that right now. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, um, where it says orientation, I'm gonna go here and drop it down and select the first one, which is select Z axis, plane, and X axis. Okay, all right, so uh, the Z axis is gonna be this top face here, the X axis is gonna be uh, this back edge. Okay, there you have it, all right. Okay, the model is already selected for me. See, it was his body. Selected the, 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 the fence, see? <clears throat> All right, so uh, next tab is the stock. This is where you can uh, you can add stock in the Z axis, X axis, Y axis. Um, I, don't, I don't have to add stock, but um, I'm gonna show you how to add stock. Uh, let's say you want uh, 10 millimeters all the way around. All right, so uh, see where it says stock offset mode. I'll drop it down. Select add stock to all size. All right, so this is where you can add um, stock to the x axis and y axis. Okay, let me put it on top view. You can see. All right, so I'm gonna add 10 millimeters of material all the way around. So I'm gonna type 10, 10, 10, and 10. See, I just added 10 millimeters of material all the way around. See it? See how the stock width got, got bigger and the stock depth got bigger as well, see it? Um, the material is a uh, half inch plywood, which is about 12 millimeters, all right? Uh, post process, you can name the program, whatever you want. I'm going to name it uh, CMS underscore CMS, uh, CMS underscore CNC underscore fence. You can comment on the program. Uh, I'm going to type 46014 dash K. That's the ML I'm, I'm going to be using to cut this out. So I'm going to click OK. Okay, I just created the, the setup. All right, so you can name the setup rear fence. Okay. All right, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to be doing the uh, uh, drilling. All right, first. All right. So I'm going to go up here where it says drill. I'm going to select the tool. It's going to be a five millimeter prop point bit. Okay. Select it. Uh, the spindle speed is, you know, I'm going to top it out. So it's going to be 7,500 RPM. Uh, the plunge feed rate is going to be four meters per minute. All right. So um, let's, see, let's select the holes also. Next tab is geometry. So I'm gonna select the, the holes here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Okay, um, order is going to be, um, you can, whatever, 
you can do whatever you want. You can do the order you selected, so I can do that. All right. Uh, the heights. Um, this is the way I have it set up. Cycle. I don't play with this. I just leave it the way it is. All right. So, so I select all six holes, right? So, but let's say you have um, let's say you have like more holes, like ten holes. You got like twenty holes, twenty five, or hundred holes. Uh, you don't want to select each hole, right? That's 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 gonna take way too long, right? So Fusion has this option here. So let me click on X and start all over. So Fusion has um has this option here where it says select same diameter. So I'm gonna select one hole only. All right. I'm gonna check where it says uh, select same diameter and watch what happens. See it? And boom. See selected the rest of the holes. This is this is great when you have so many holes you know, on, on on your part. This is really this is really this is a nice feature in Fusion 360. And um, so you can uh, you can check where it says uh, only same hole depth if you want or diameter. In this case they're they're all the same diameter, right? Five millimeters, right? Okay. Um, so I'm gonna click OK. Okay. Let's simulate this. Okay. You can name the the operation. So on, uh, it's gonna be five millimeter holes. Okay. Let's simulate this. Right click on it. Uh, simulate. Okay. Start. Okay. All right. So the simulation is good. You can turn up the toolpath here. You can check that if you want. If it gets in your way. Okay. Um. So let's close this. And next, we're we're gonna we're gonna cut this part out. All right. So I'm gonna use a 2D contour. I'm gonna select the tool. Gonna be the 46014K, a three flu compression bit, which is right here, 12 millimeters. Okay, so select this. All right, so um, see the cutting theory, I'll drop it down to 10 meters per minute. Okay, rem spindle speed, um, let's make this 13,000 RPM. All right. Uh, next, well, I'm going to select the geometry. So I'll select the part. Okay. And make sure the arrow is pointing uh, the, run, uh, the right direction. See the arrow is on the outside of the part. So you you cut in you you, you cut in the perimeter, right? If you click on the arrow, it's going to flip it. Watch what happens. Let's zoom out. This is right here. So the the so it's going to cut. The machine's gonna cut into the part, right? It's not gonna do a perimeter cut. All right, so I'm gonna click on the arrows and flip it to where it was. Okay. All right, next tab uh, is the height. Okay. Um, since uh, I'm using a, a pattern rail CNC machine, I don't want to cut uh, the vacuum pots, so I gotta leave some material. All right. Um, see where it says um, the bottom height. I'm gonna just type one. So I'm leaving one millimeter of material. All right. I'm not cutting all the way through. All right. So um, next tab is gonna be passes. Uh, stock to leave. I'm gonna check that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a step over. So I'm gonna check uh, where it says multiple tabs. And the maximum roughing step down is gonna be ten millimeters. Uh, I'm gonna check where it says order by depth and check raw, uh, raw fi uh, final. All right, so um, this looks good here. Next tab is gonna be the linking. 
Okay, I have the lead in and lead out. Uh, um, 16 millimeters. See it. All right, so um, I'm going to click OK. Okay, and there's a toolpath. See it. Let's simulate this. Right click on it. Simulate. Let's play it. See, it's leaving a uh, one millimeter of material. See that? Okay. That right, looks good. Let's say um, you saw how it was plunging in in, um, in the simulation. Let's say you don't want to plunge into the material. You can you want to you want to ramp. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, let's uh, right click on the on the two D contour operation. Select edit. Let's go to linking tab. Check where it says ramp. And this is you can play around with this. Um, mine is set up at uh, two degrees. Yeah, five degrees, whatever you want. You got the clearance here. Mine's already set up. So I'm not going to change the values here. All right, so I'm going to click OK. And there it is, see? That's a two degree ramp. All right, so let's simulate this. Okay, so let's uh, right click. Simulate. Okay. All right. So there, there, there you have it. That's that's how that's how you ramp. See. It. Okay. So um, let's close this simulation. All right, so everything looks good here. So I want to post it. Uh, yeah, re rear fence. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to leave it the way it is. I was going to name it something else, but let's leave it the way it is. All right, so I'm going to right click on the setup, post process. Just the, just the name of the program. Okay, I'm going to select the folder. Go to desktop. Uh, so where are you? Um, it's on the C drive. Oh, there it is. Fusion 360. Wiki CNC programs. Yeah, Wiki CNC program. That's the folder I'm gonna select. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, this is built in. You can drop it down. So my looks good here. Oh, the pose is stiff. <laughs> this is a 3D printed pose I have. I was playing around with the with my CR10S. So um, let's select the wood pose process, post processor. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So uh, selecting the wrong folder. So let's go, let's go back. So select the right folder. Wiki CNC program. Select our folder. Okay, that's the right folder there. The NC extension, you know, is, a, is the NPR. All right. Okay, let's post this. There's my G code. Okay, I'm going to look for that program so I can open it up in Bootwap. Um,
Okay. Let's go to that folder. That program right here. Let's open it up. There's a program. See it? Okay. That's the depth of here. It's going down the quarter of an inch. All right. See the, the boring bit? So it's going to have six macros. And there's the there's the end mill here, all right. So you get the fear rate, 10 meters per minute. Uh, tool number one is always gonna be number one on my machine because I don't have a tool changer. And the speeds can be, just the way I had in Fusion 360, see it's 13,000 RPM, all right. And the tool, see it, the, the boring bit, all right. See the fear rate, four meters per minute. Go to the parameters here. See, so yeah, I see I have an automatic drill selection. I, I had to tweak um, the post processor, so it doesn't. Um, so I don't have to select uh, the tool number because it doesn't really work in machines. Some um, it, when they say you um, you put tool number ninety right, for that boring bit, the machine doesn't know doesn't know where it is. Um, I don't know what's wrong with that. So. I had to uh, tweak the post processor to be automatic drill selection instead of a uh, tool selection by number. So it doesn't work on the machine. So it has to be automatic. All right, that's that's the way machine my machine is right now. Okay. And there's a program, guys. Um, if you guys if you guys have any questions, you can you can put them um you can put them down below. Um. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I'm gonna be making more videos on how to program your whole Mac and Wiki CNC machine using Fusion 360. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.